everyone, how's it going? Hope you're all doing great. In this episode right here, we're going to be uh, continuing on from the previous episode and we're going to fill out the CRUD application that's going to serve as the back end for our front end app. And basically, we're going to build this out in parallel with the front end. So we're going to switch back and forth between the two series of the Rails API series and the React Foundation series. If you're a member, uh, you'll have access to everything, so you don't have to worry. Uh, but if you're not a member, uh, you'll need to subscribe. It's $9 a month, and you'll get access to everything that we're doing over here. So um, basically, what we want to achieve here is uh, we want to generate the model, and then we're going to go ahead and fill out the controller that's going to serve uh, as the endpoint for our API. Uh, and then we're going to obviously need to uh, fill out the routes. Now, if you're not familiar with Rails, we recommend you take a look at the Rails Foundation series. Uh, that's going to you know, go really slow and introduce you to the concept that we're going to be using uh, to build out our API. All right, so without any further ado, let's hop right in. So I'm going to uh, go over here into the code, and I'm going to do a uh, Rails G model. So I'm going to generate the model first, so Rails G model contact. So that's going to generate us the files uh, that we can use. So over here, I have the contact. And here, I have the migration. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do t.string uh, first name. So we're going to need uh, you know, our contact to be able to have first name and a, and a last name, and then uh, an e email. So t.string email. So this is going to be um, our basic contact model that we're going to use. So with that, we're going to do a Rails uh, db migrate. So that's going to run the migration and generate the table for us. Great. So now what we need to do is generate the controller to go with this. So Rails G controller uh, v1 slash uh, contacts. So the reason why I'm doing v1 slash contacts is because um, you know we're going to be able to version our API. So uh, by doing this, it allows us to do just that. So um, over here, if we take a look at the controller, v1 context controller. So here, uh, what we can then do is we can start filling out our index. So index contacts equal contact dot all, and then basically we're going to render render JSON uh, contacts and then status. Okay, so this is just a basic output um, for the index. You know, this is just basically going to allow us to, um, you know, return all the contacts in our database. Since we don't have a lot of contacts, we're not going to bother with pagination and all that stuff just yet. That's just going to come later on. Um, so we have the the render JSON contacts, and basically now we need to just set up the uh, routes. So I'm going to do routes.rb, and then here what we're going to be doing is just do a namespace, do, and then end. So basically we're going to have um, in our browser, it's going to be slash v1 slash contacts. So resources, contacts. And basically, uh, if I go now to the console and do Rails routes, we're going to see the path for us to get to the contacts. So uh, as you can see here, slash v1 contacts, and that's the endpoint we're going to be using. So uh, we're going to do the complete CRUD process. Uh, so what we need to do as well is do the create. But let's first try this out and see that it works. So I'm going to head over into the console over here and start up the Rails server. Uh, Rails says, there we go. It's booting right up. So now if I uh, do localhost 3000 v1 contacts, we should get an empty array as JSON. And there we go. Look at that. That's working beautifully. All right. So um, now that we have the back end, uh, what we're going to be doing next is we're going to fill out um, the create action and then the delete action. So basically, we're going to be able to create the um, you know, create the the contact and then also delete it uh, and also update it if we need. So I'm just going to go ahead and do dev uh, create, and here we're going to do contact equals contact dot new, and then here we're going to use uh, contact params. So this is all strong parameter stuff. Uh, you should all know this uh, already. So private, and then here we're going to do um, contact params 
And then basically here, it's going to be uh, params.require contact permit first name, last name, and email. All right. And then here, if we're going to do uh, contact.save and then uh, render JSON contact status created. So uh, basically, once the status, uh, once the contact is created, it's going to return uh, the HTTP status is two zero one, which is for created. Um, and so for destroy, also we will have uh, destroy contact equals contact dot where id params id dot first, and then we're going to do contact dot destroy. And then we're going to return the, the uh, actually, we're not going to return anything. We're just going to do, um, let's do something like this. So if contact.destroy, we're going to return head OK. So we don't need to return any content uh, else head unprocessable entity. So uh, head is basically just Rails way of returning uh, just the content in the header. There's no content in the res uh, in the response. Uh, and basically, we're going to say, hey, if everything went correctly with the destruction, uh, just return OK. And if not, then return unprocessable entity. And on the client side, then we can handle, like, you know, show the alert bar, show the alert uh, that, you know, contact couldn't be destroyed or whatever. That can all happen on the front end. So for now, this should be enough, um, you know, just to get us started with the back end stuff. Uh, for the update and all that stuff, well, you know, we'll tackle that later on. Uh, for now, let's use this to be able to, um, you know, now the next we're going to move on to building the front end uh, to be able to consume this back end here. All right, guys, don't forget to subscribe, become a member to get access to all our content. I'll see you guys in the next episode.